Hi guys, today I want to share some tips about how I think when designing stylized 3D rocks or cliffs based on my own experience and artworks. We can follow the how to make a rock tutorials, but have you ever think it why we are doing that kind of rock forms, shapes and compositions, how it works, explore the rocks, think how rock, become a rock. Oops, that's too much. So, at first we need to understand what type of material it is. A rock material is splitting, cracking, pretty solid and can be layered. Rocks can have almost any shapes, but there are some exceptions and forms that could look weird. The ones that have some unnatural look. And of course we need to simplify the shapes and forms if you want them stylized. Some good way to brainstorm about it is just overpaint some real life references of stones and cliffs. Then think about the place where the rocks are located and what environment they have around. Is it desert, forest or some mountains? Rocks can be damaged and carved by water, by wind, by wind and sand, and just by time and erosion, so I think. By the way, this video is a part of my environment drama course that goes live at April 24. But all mentorship seats already been sold in a couple of hours after, after global registration. But you still can get the basic course with all the files and videos with 25% pre-purchase discount. Check it out, link is in the description. If it's water, rocks will be more smooth and rounded. For desert winds and sand, they can be more flat and so iced, and so on. That's why you don't want to mix different rock shapes together on one scene. Also, with many different shape styles, it will look not that eye pleasant. Explore how the rocks get damaged and cracking in parts. That way you will not go with incorrect details and super soft and spiral crack details that looks uh, not that rocky. Maybe it's hard to imagine how the real rocks are splitting and cracking, but we can check it and try by ourselves on our solid but crispy things like cookies or chalk. So, go and hit some cookies. And I made for you some quick and simple form examples of how we don't want to do for rocks and how we can improve it. So in this case, this um, rock looks like a geometric figure. We don't want to have any figures from Tetris. So normally it would be split in two parts, not join it, have different height and some forms. And the second stone will be like pretty similar that split from the main rock. And that's it. In this case we have pretty similar issue. We don't want to have this geometric figure and normally the rock would be split. But in this case from like by slicing from the upper side. So what we can do is to add an additional upper very nice looking and similar shape. A rock that so I said something like this will be look already cool. And here we have some very strange uh, stairs, so I think that looks like it's been curved or something. So we also need to split that kind of details and make sure our rock doesn't look like it's been carved by human, and now it looks much more better and realistic. And here we have extremely sharp and stretched angle that in the nature would not survive. So normally it would be a little bit beveled or damaged and maybe even split on the parts. That way it always looks much better in the composition. 
And what we want to do here is to break the forms. As you see, they are all almost the same shape and size. So we don't want to have a stairs on our rocks. So now let's break the forms for it. Making a different size and different shapes. Adding maybe some smaller rocks, bigger rocks, and there's some better composition for it that doesn't look like stairs. And in this case, as I've been talking before, we don't want to mix different type and shell rocks together that can look very strange because uh, they are like from different environments and being damaged very differently. So probably separately all the rocks will look much more better than together. So let me show you. So round it together, sharp angle together and so I set rocks also separately and as you see I made a three nice compositions from the rocks we had together at first and they separately look much more better that's why we should be very careful joining many different shapes together make sure that it works Three nice type of rocks, but don't mix them together. And now let me show you how I would model similar or poly rock like this one. So I created a plane, I made it a vertex from it, and from the vertex I will start make my base form. For me it's always to model and think like that with the vertexes making a base form so nothing crazy just extruding testing different forms trying to understand what i like more what my eyes like more imagining how this rock would look and then i feel the police pressing f when you're starting design a rock imagine that it was a solid perfect cube but due to its environment around, it started changing its forms, cracking and splitting into different parts. That way you will get the rock you want. Then I will do the extrude and move it a little bit on the sides, so it will not be super straight. And we have already a base form for our rock. And I will go with knife tool, add some upper vertexes to do some splitting stone on the upper side with pretty similar shape like we have on the O-Rock yeah. move it some forms here a little bit too Still checking, maybe I will find a better way that I like. And I want to split here to make some different height on our upper rook. Maybe with some crack on the middle part. So it will look more interesting. Filling this police here. And this video was a full improvisation. I haven't cut anything from it. So I just decided to make a rock and went doing it how I think would be cool. And I really love the angle at upper 
faces. It gives some interesting silhouette. I decided to break a little bit uh, this crack form so it will not be super straight. Awesome. And it goes to the bottom. And while the crack is pretty big and it affects the silhouette, we want to model it to be much better than just uh, paint the line, you know. Exploring maybe some different forms, but it already looks cool for me. And yeah, I moved upper faces with some angle. I like doing this. And this is what you want to do for most of your rocks. Also when you're sculpting, just some small bevel on the angle, like the stone bin a little bit split there. Like you're using a damn standard brush. So that a middle uh, edge to do some more interesting form for the rock and for the painting in future, because I don't want this uh, face to be just a flat one color. So I will have some different form and um, shades there. more spoilt on the over part making it look even more interesting and I added some bevel here changing some forms exploring Maybe move it a little bit. You never know what works better if you not try this and if you don't have a concept like me this time. Actually, I often don't have a concept. And here I also do some bigger bevel on the side. Yeah. But what we don't want to do is to make the same size bevel over all the object like you applied them modification tool it looks very newbie don't do this and don't do uh, the baked double highlights on your models it looks very unfinished and beginner like and here I'm doing um, some testing some mesh for more bigger crack that goes from those two rocks and to the bigger one and I think probably it's gonna work with the polys so I can paint some depth there more interesting not just effort lines and our rock is done that's all nothing super crazy once you understand how it works, you can easily model your rocks in like 10-20 um, minutes and... And yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next videos. Peace.